Activity and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a beautiful fall evening here in Finley, Ohio, and Anderson and I are hanging out in the beer shed, getting ready to check out a new beer. What's going on, my brother? Oh, about a whole lot. I'm enjoying this brand new chair I have to sit on, finally. It's nice a, and comfortable. A very nice new chair. He was sitting on one of my kitchen chairs, and it wasn't very useful out here, was it? No, it was awkward, and it was a pain in the ass having to carry it back and forth all the time. That's right, and then we get yelled at if we get it dirty or spill beer on it. So or now... Or forget it out here. That's right. <laughs> now we have our own chair, so all is good again. Um, the beer we have today is called War Llama, and this is from Miss Pillion River Brewing. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Out of Milford, Delaware. Where'd you find this one at, man? Oh, if you remember a while back, I went to uh, Cincinnati and went to Jungle Gyms, and this is another find from Jungle Gyms. Oh, not bad. Kind of odd. I mean, it's a Delaware beer. I can't say I see many Delaware beers other than Dogfish Head. And I think, uh, I know Pete had sent me one or two over you know, over the last year or so. Well, it's not a very big state, so there can't be a whole lot of breweries out there. Fair enough, right? I mean, it is pretty small. But it's still odd to see it in, in Cincinnati, I guess. But right. it looks like an interesting brew. has some pretty cool artwork on there. I hope I pronounced that correctly with the, the Miss Pillion. I'm not sure if that's... That's the correct way. Um, but this is a flavored electrolyte infused sour beer. Now, we've seen a couple of electrolyte beers so far. The first one, I think, wasn't it one of those non alcoholic beers? Yes, it was. Called? What yes. do they call it? Was, that, was it Victory or something? What were they called? I, I can't remember what those non alcoholic beers were that we had, but yes, it was an electrolyte. And then the second one I saw was at Hammer Light, which was the one that was brewed in collaboration with, uh, what was his name, Jamie Gillen, the Scottish Hammer? Scott Hammer, yes. The, the Browns punter. So I guess this is the third electrolyte type beer. I don't know, it always throws me off. I see electrolytes, I just think Gatorade, right? Right. Which I don't usually associate with beer. I kind of think of it as being watery and salty, but I guess it is what it is. Well, Gatorade and vodka is pretty good, so. Maybe, I never had that. I don't know. <laughs> I heard the Amish buggy bomb is the shit, dude. If you take some uh, a nice German beer, you mix in some some uh, Jaeger and a little bit of Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer, I heard it's brilliant. But where'd you, where'd you have that at? Some genius invented it. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this beer is pretty cool. The artwork is interesting, right? We have this, I guess this is the, the War Llama on here. Where did the artwork come from? The, it came from, it has a little thing on the side here. It says Tom Ryan Studio. And I'll put a little picture of the, um, I guess his logo here down in the corner. You guys know I'm always a big fan of any time the brewery share the artist's name and their information on here. I'll probably go on about this. My daughter is in art school. She had her stuff stolen before and put on Amazon. Amazon. Somebody was selling posters of her artwork. And, uh, you know, so I, I kind of take it personal. And I, I'm happy to see when people share who puts these brilliant images on the can. So, uh, Tom Ryan Studio. Check it out. Now, this beer looks like it's a charity beer here. What's it say there? One one dollar. One dollar per, per case goes to Metaviver. And this was, what did we say? It was metastatic breast, breast cancer. cancer. Yeah, so I guess this is a you know a beer brewed for charity, and they get a portion of the profit. So and and obviously that's a good thing. It's metaviver.org, M-E-T-A-V-I-V-O-R, metaviver.org. So if you want to donate some money or check it out, go to that website. Um, it also says here, War Llama. War Llama is green, tart, and refreshing. Um, we've had a couple of green beers, right? And they're yes. always quite interesting. Um, so let's, I guess... Let's see what this one's like, man. You ready? Ready to open it? Let's do it. Yeah. We were messing around with the camera setup so long, I think we sobered up between beers here, bro. Nothing else interesting on the can? No. It's a very light green color. It almost looks like, what's that, Midori? Like the, maybe like a lemon, uh, melon liqueur or something? At least it's green. Probably a little lighter than, than Midori, I guess. I don't know. Ton of uh, bubbles there. Very interesting looking. It's green, that's for sure. I would break out my SRM chart, but I'm pretty sure this color is not on it. Pretty clear. Definitely not. You can see straight through it. Has a, a kind of moderately thin white hat on there. I've got a thumb for the head of mine. Oh, do you? Yeah. Maybe I'll get some more. I'll be more aggressive. Maybe I poured mine better than you. Ah, I just spilled it on And there's myself. a lot of larger bubbles in the center and small bubbles toward the outside. All right, that's enough of that. It's green. Moderate white end. Does it smell green? <laughs> or does it smell like Gatorade? Or I don't know. I mean, 
maybe I'm wrong here, but I'm picking up like a, uh, well, I mean, I guess it is a sour, obviously. It's almost smell like a, a slight sour apple kind of thing. Yes. It to, Jolly it, Rancher-esque or something? It's not very strong. It's a subtle smell, but yes, it is. Sour yeah. apple-ish? Um, yeah, I think Jolly Rancher is a good description of it. It's, it's, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's nice. All right, let's give this a shot. Cheers. We, we've been working hard all day, so we need some electrolytes. Replenish. Maybe this will do the Do you job. think the electrolytes are going to affect the flavor? Man, I don't even know what the hell electrolytes do. I don't even know if it's a real thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? They electrolytes in Gatorade. Do Gatorade taste Rondo. like... Rondo. <laughs> Listen, does, does Gatorade taste like electrolytes? No, it just kind of tastes like salt. <laughs> it's Bra- salt. Rondo has got electrolytes. <laughs> it might. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Oh. I actually quite like that. That is I, that is super lip puckeringly sour. I did not expect that, but I should have considering it's a sour and it does say it's tart. That's nice, man. No, but it does I mean, hit you, right? It, yeah. It's a punch right in the mouth with that tartness right up front. And this is what I'm talking about. I like tart beers. I like sour beers. Now, a lot of people don't. It's acquired taste. It's not for everybody's palate. But I'm tired of people writing on their cans that it's tart, it's sour, and you drink it. You're like, what is this bullshit? Like that Warheads beer has to be the yeah, biggest yeah. disappointment of all time. That was definitely a very disappointing beer. Those Warheads beers were absolutely Probably looks similar to this, right? You try it and it's just like blah. This is Nothing. what I would expect from the Warheads yes. beers. Yes, this is nice tart. But here's what's weird. It also has like a little sweetness after it, right? Yes, it does. I love, I love this. I absolutely love this. And you know, again, from the, from the subtle smell... I would have not expected this much flavor. No. Uh, stats on this, 5% ABV. There was five IBUs in this, obviously. I mean, you don't taste any no. anything like that. And I would say this. If you were to give some of this wine, you probably wouldn't say, oh, this is a beer. Right? You would think this is a soda or something. I would think. This is some kind of like sour apple soda. Some sort, of, some sort of like Jones soda. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ratings-wise, untapped a 3.82. And there was quite a few ratings on there. Beer Advocate, I think there was two ratings. One gave it close to a four, and the other person must have gave it a zero or something because I think the, the score was like a two two five or something. And this is this is way better than that. So I don't know. Maybe the person screwed up and abandoned. I, I, I don't know how the Beer Advocate actually defines their ratings. Neither do I. I don't actually ever. Like, I mean, I've maybe, never used it. Like I've never written a review on there, but I always use it because Untapped is kind of. I don't know. I like Untapped for checking in the beers and badges and just kind of as a record of the beers that I've drank. But I do think that. Untapped has some issues. Somebody brought up to me before. Um, I think Untapped counts every check-in of yours towards the beer. So I guess theoretically, if I drank a beer a thousand times and gave it a five every time, you could kind of you skew the results. Yes. Yeah. And I, I think I was talking to uh, was it Japanese beer reviews was saying he had another one too. He uses one. It's not beer advocate. It's something else. Um, and what it does is every time you rate it, it kind of replaces the rating. Which I guess if you're looking at it from um, you know, like a research standpoint would probably be more a better way to do it than just having somebody spam it with fives or zeros or, or right. whatever it might be and throws off your numbers. This this is a good beer. Um, now, again, is this something that I would drink all the time? No, of course not, right? I mean, it's kind of a, a specialty type beer or something you want to try for a little something different. The fact that it supports a good cause is even better. Uh, but I will say this. A lot of beers out there support causes, and the beer sucks. And you're like, okay, you know, I'm glad I bought one or a six pack or something to support the cause. But I think it has to be good enough that you come back. Yes. If you're really trying to raise money or do something, and this is good, this I would definitely buy again. Now we got it in Cincinnati, so we probably never see it again unless we go back to Cincinnati. But it's it this is this is good. So for me, War Llama is a huge thumbs up. How about you? Absolutely, it's a big thumbs up. I would buy this again. I could drink a few of these. I mean, yeah. it is surprisingly good. Yeah. It, you know, again, medium light body, nice sour apple taste. You kind of get the sour punch up front and then a little bit of sweetness after. And that's kind of it. I mean, there's not a heck of a lot else going on. I don't know that I taste electrolytes. I don't even know what electrolyte tastes like to say that I taste it or don't taste it. But this is a win, and I'm thrilled that you were able to pick it up. And thanks for sharing it with me, my brother. So, again, big thumbs up for War Llama. If you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions? Jump in down below. Have you had any beers with electrolytes? Have you tried War Llama or any of the other beers from Miss Billion River? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, my apologies. Hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.